There is no life I know that compares with pure imagination. Tim Tams, they're very special. Tim Tams, they're the luckiest Tim Tams. We're going to make Tim Tams spread. Hello, everyone. My name is Tupperware Pete. G'day, g'day. I am going to be making... What's a Tim Tam I hear some of the international people ask? It is a chocolate biscuit. In America, you call what you call biscuits, we call scones. What you call cookies, we call biscuits. <laughs> this is a chocolate biscuit. It's going to be delicious. And I've got 300 mils of thickened cream, right? So what I've got, this is the double-sided spatula. And here is the one litre micro cook pitcher. This is what I'm going to be cooking in. This here is, it's like a saucepan for your microwave, right? So everything you do on the stove top, whether you're steaming broccoli and cauliflower, making soup, doing baked beans, making porridge or oatmeal, whether you're doing white sauce, gravy, custard, spaghetti, melting butter, melting chocolate, um, peas, corn, carrots and capsicum, this thing will do it in the microwave oven. There is a smaller set that you can get. It's a set of two. And I don't know if you can see this. See the measurements? You've got me cut measurements up one side. You've got 500 mil increments in one in. Is that 25 mils? 25 mil increments all up the side there. You've got the small one that's cut measurements. That me stacks inside each other. That way, if you are doing baked beans or melting, or melting butter or something, you don't want it to splatter. Just cover it in the microwave. The splatter stays on the inside here instead of the inside of your microwave. Um, and on the, underneath here, you've got a tablespoon, a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon. There's your little measurements in there. That's really funky, right? You've so got that in there. What we're going to do is... 300 mils of cream in here and we're just going to pull that straight into there right now if we were whipping this the colder the cream the quicker the whip so it doesn't matter that it's been sitting out on the bench for a few minutes it really doesn't no it really doesn't matter 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 what we're going to do in here is you know what this product's called don't you no need to ask it's a smooth operator it is a smooth we are going to grab our Tim Tams, open up the packet. This is the family size. <laughs> I don't know about you, but <laughs> family for one. Yes, indeed. So what we're going to do is, actually, incidentally, I wanted to show you. This is the Tupperware Slice and Store. I just wanted to see if this will fit. That will fit your choppy biscuits in there. So you can pop that into the fridge, the freezer, or the pantry, right? You've got your Tupperware Sweet Keeper. I wanted to just... You can pop three layers of Tim Tams in there. You can pop down the bottom, you've got them up the top. And then you can. I can pop another packet in the side into there as well. Or... These are the Tupperware date store and freeze containers where you dial up the, the dates that you've popped it in to the freezer. So you've got zero to 12 numbers and then in between each number, you've got four increments. So that's like the weeks. So you can dial up, you know, the fifth, the fourth week of May and that's when you've popped your food into the freezer, right? So what we can do is we've got, excuse fingers, we've got some Tim Tams, let's do, a layer of Tim Tams in the freezer containers. Pop them into there. And we'll pop them into the freezer as a nice little sweet treat, all right? Yum O, okay? Then what we're going to do is grab our other packet of Tim Tams. And we're going to pop it into our supersonic chopper. We are going to chop it. into bits. There's our supersonic chopper. Chopped up our Tim Tam packet. We're going to pop that straight into the cream. We are going to pour this straight into the microwave. We're going to pop it on for 30 seconds, right? Now, the supersonic chopper, it does have a fill line, right? There is an anti-slip grip. Now, when you get this product, that anti-slip grip is going to be on the inside of there. The blades in a blade protector are going to be on the inside there. So please don't get excited. You want to chop up your onions. 
before you do that, remove the anti-slip grip, apply that to the base, and then you're right to chop up your onions, your Tim Tams, whatever it is that you want to chop up, right? So, it also comes with a paddle whisk, so you can whip your cream up in that, not a problem. And when you're using it, it's like a zero carbon footprint handheld blender. All right, this is our double-sided spatula. Let's just give this a bit of a mix. Move that out of the way. We're gonna mix this up and we're just gonna yum out. Let's pop it in for another 30 seconds. So this is, look at the funky design in this. That will whip cream. It will turn cream into butter. You do need to pull the cord quite a few times. That will make your beer butters, your muffin mixes, cake mixes, um, pancakes, everything your double beaters will do, this sweet thing will do. It won a European Red Dot Design Kitchen Award. Um, I think it was in Germany. I can't remember which country it was. But how awesome is that? You can pop that in there. Oh, and then there is a funnel. So if you're making meringues or mayonnaise or something, you can pop your funnel into there and it's a complete unit. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right, here we go. What are we doing? That's been in for a minute. Let's just give this another little bit of a, all I do is just mix that around. If there's any extra crumbs, we'll push that along the side. This is what it looks like so far. I don't know if you can see this. It's getting there, right? I'm gonna pop that in for another 30 seconds. While that's in there, what I wanted to show you was, this is how I normally store it in the refrigerator, right? This is how I normally store it, in the Tupperware Clearmate. So you know your standard 440 gram cans? Whenever anything you open, anytime you open up one of those cans, pop that into here. This is the only straight-sided container on the market anywhere that once you express the air out of there, will not leak. That is a liquid tight, airtight seal. They're designed to be liquid tight, airtight seals. So you can keep your beetroot in here, pop it in the esky water, and it's not going to drink, you know, your, your beetroot water is not going to bleed into the rest of your esky water, right? That's what I keep my Tim Tam spread in. That's been on for. This is all I do. Now, if the cream is really cold, can you see? We're starting to get like a, a darker colour happening now. Can you see that? So if the cream is really cold, it might take a little bit longer, but what we're gonna do is, we are going to, so it's like a Tim Tam ganache or a dip or a sauce or a spread, but we're gonna pop it in for another 30 seconds. Once that free, it, once that stores in the refrigerator, it thickens up um, and it's like a spread or you can basically, Pop it in your Tupperware ice cube containers and you can freeze little lumps of Tim Tams and cream. You can have that on top of your pancakes. What I did earlier in the week, I've got in here, I actually I did it in, did you see that video that I did? In here I did peanut butter maple syrup. I popped it in for 45 seconds, pulled it out, I mixed it up and I drizzled that over my homemade banana donuts and I had some left over. So I just popped it into the freezer containers. I popped some hard set chocolate on the top and now, oh, it's not gonna pop out, hang on a minute. It's been sitting out on the bench top for a little bit longer than what I had originally anticipated. It's, <laughs> they're soft again. So I need to wait and pop them into the freezer. They have been sitting here underneath the hot lights, melting away, all right? So what we're gonna do is, Grab this, this is much better. This is what we want. So we are just going to pop this into our Tupperware clear mode. That's it. Like, that's it. <laughs> Chocolate and Tim Tams and cream. Now we'll let that cool. Let's just scrape all that beautiful chocolatey goodness out. I'm trying to do this for the camera, so I'm popping it all over the bench. Okay, there is your... That's it. Look at that. It's absolutely delicious. Now, if I wanted to, I could then freeze little cubes of this. And, of course, when it's rock solid, it's very easy to get out of here. But in the meantime, I'm trying to... <laughs> Try to grab one of these. Oh, 
the chocolate came out, but the peanut butter and maple syrup is it's defrosted and it's not popping out. Mm, yum o. Oh. If you've got any questions or suggestions, please let me know. If you want to see something that's um, in the catalogue that you want to know more about, just tell me, Peter, can you do a video on this, please? Or I want to see fried rice in the pressure cooker. Ask me that. What a great suggestion. And it worked out beautifully, all right? Um, in the meantime, you know what you need to do, don't you? Forget your troubles and get happy. Don't you cares away. Shout out and get happy. I will cook for you another day. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, everybody. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Where's this button?